Someone invited and potentially destructive guests, and not even pest control experts have been able to find a way to get rid of it. Topping our news tonight at 6, a woman is very worried about her house of 48 years in Waterford. She is, and that's because of an infestation by a tiny, a little-known tiny insect that normally starts outside or stays outside. Jason Colthorpe spoke with that homeowner today. Jason, what is this bug? It's called the springtail, Carmen, and this woman, who's 79 years old, did all the detective work herself, and it, it kind of has this, to do with this. She has this old book, Home Remedies, if you will, for getting pest control uh, in your house, and she found that one of these things to identify a pest in your house, get a bowl of water, put it down, you grab a bright light and put it over the bowl, the bugs are attracted to the light, they jump to that for the warmth, they end up in the bowl, and then in the morning, you've got your intruder. She did that. She took what she had in the bowl and mailed it to an entomologist to get its identity. I've lived here 48 years and my grandfather and uncle built the house. That's why Marceline Murphy is meticulous about the upkeep on her home, but she recently discovered an infestation of springtails. I would wake up in the morning, my forehead was red with bites on it. Should not be in my house at all especially not this time of year. And now she's sleeping on the floor in the living room, away from the warm moisture the springtails are attracted to. They say they jump, they don't fly, they don't bite, but if you Google that bug, you're gonna hear some scary stories. Springtails are common to Michigan, but not usually in homes. Pest control has been to her house three times now, to no avail. And I've had a number of clients who've done everything, including throwing the kitchen sink at them and not being able to control them with, with um, insecticides. Mrs. Murphy contacted an MSU entomologist who told me this about getting rid of them. First, make any repairs necessary to keep an area, especially a wet area, that seems to attract them dry. But insurance won't cover that, and now Mrs. Murphy may be forced to pay at least $8,000 for the necessary remodeling. I have to have somebody come in wearing masks and gowns and three weeks suggested I get out of my house. Now, some of you might be thinking spring or the, this could be a snow flea. Well, the snow flea is a little bit different. You've sometimes seen those. They look the same. They're on top of the snow jumping around. It's a relative, but it's not the springtail. Now, one of the other things also to, in addition to eliminating the moisture in your home is sealing up the house. You get around the cracks of the outside. These things crawl in, usually through the cracks in the basement, maybe a basement window or little things like that. That's the second thing. Reporting live tonight, Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4. And we thought Michigan winters killed everything. Now, Jason, she said she was bitten, but these bugs don't bite, do they? They, they're not known to. Yes, you heard it kind of both ways in there. They're not known to bite, but she also thinks that they were biting her in this case yeah. because her bug guy ruled out other things like bed bugs. And, uh, you know, she did some Googling and she came up with some horror stories of a lot of people being bitten by these things. However, yeah. experts say they don't normally do that. And if yeah. it's impossible to detect what insect has bitten you. All right, springtails, we've got it. Our Jason Colthorpe reporting for us live.